Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide. And in this video, I want to share with you how to put together a killer Facebook ad. There's no doubt that Facebook ads can be very powerful for a number of businesses. First, because you can tap into an audience of 2 billion people. That means that regardless of what industry you're in, you most probably be able to target your ideal market through Facebook ads. Plus, since Facebook ads is a self-serve advertising platform, you have complete control over your campaigns. Not only do you have control of how much you spend, spend and for how long, you can also pause or stop campaigns that are underperforming or scale the ones that are performing well. But to make sure you make the most out of the power of Facebook advertising, you need to know how to put together a killer Facebook ad. With most Facebook ad types, you will need to write a headline, text, a link description, a call to action, and then illustrate your ad with either a carousel, a single image, a single video, a slideshow, or a collection. Let's start with the headline first. Every headline should be benefit driven and short. It should underline what is the end result of what your offer is and who it's for. For example, should you help people generate sales online, your headline could be the ultimate formula for selling once too many. The benefit underlined in this headline is obviously generating more sales in less time and the target audience is salespeople or business owners. Another headline could be the proven system for making coaching clients chase after you. The benefit is obviously attracting clients without having to use complex sales systems or sales scripts and the target audience is obviously people in the coaching business. Try and avoid headlines that don't underline a benefit and are so generic the target audience is not obvious. For example, headlines such as multiple income streams. This headline, although it underlines the benefit of generating passive income, is way too generic because because it doesn't make it obvious who the target audience is and what the strategy is. A better headline would be multiple income stream strategies for real estate investors. Next, you have to write a description for your ad, also known as the text of your ad. There are two types of descriptions you can write, long form copy or short form copy. Usually long form copy is needed when your audience is cold, in other words, doesn't know, like or trust you and therefore would need more convincing. On the other hand, short form copy is used when the audience you're targeting are people who are already familiar with you or your brand and don't need as much convincing. The text section of your ad should emphasize the problem your audience is facing for which you're offering a solution to. For example, the text for your ad could be sick and tired of selling your products or services one to one and going nowhere. Would you like to discover how to sell once to many? Here, the problem emphasized is again what many salespeople and business owners face is not leveraging their time and therefore reaching a plateau when it comes to sales which of course affects the level of income. Then write the link description. Your link description appears below your image and your headline. In the link description is where you offer the solution. For example, if the problem you underlined in the text was, are you sick and tired of selling your products or services one-to-one -one and going nowhere, your solution in the link description could be, if you're a business owner and want to significantly scale your sales without employing more staff, this proven formula shows you step-by-step -step how to finally sell one too many and free up your time while growing your business. If the problem you underlined in the text was are you fed up with running expensive Google ads which get little to no response, your solution in the link description could be if you're a Google advertiser and want to finally start experiencing return on your investment, our Rolodex of some of the highest converting Google ads will show you how. In terms of the image for your ad, remember that images should be 1200 times 628 pixels, ideally, and images should follow the 20% text rule. What this means is that your image should not have too much text and text should only take up a maximum of 20% of your image. To make sure your image follows this rule, upload your picture on facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash tools forward slash text overlay. When you do, a message will appear letting you know whether you can use your image or not. Images should have bright colors so they stand out in people's news feeds. So avoid black and white pictures, for example. You also want to avoid stock images as they've been overused and are most of the time not original. People associate stock images with ads, so it's best to use your own images. Images that tend to do well are pictures of people because they look real and not salesy. Lastly, choose your call to action from the drop-down menu provided on Facebook. Should you be targeting a cold audience, avoid high commitment calls to action, such as shop now. Instead, 
choose low commitment calls to action, such as learn more, which are less intimidating for an audience that doesn't already know you. For ads targeting existing customers or email subscribers or people who have already browsed your website, you can use calls to action such as shop now or sign up. When putting together your ad, whether it's the headline, the text, the image or the link description, make sure you don't use superlatives such as the best or the biggest, as it's frowned upon by Facebook. Plus, avoid making big claims, especially about health or money. For example, you can't make claims such as the formula for making a million dollars or the cure for diabetes. If you make big claims in your Facebook ads or your Facebook ads are quite hyped and use superlatives, chances are your ads won't be approved. You also want to avoid clickbait in your ad. Clickbait is content that entices people to click on the call to action in a misleading way. For example, content that says what happened after this person took this vitamin will shock you would be considered as clickbait. Another example of clickbait would be this made real estate agents fear for their life. These sorts of ads are clickbait because they raise people's curiosity in a misleading way. Instead, to make sure your ads don't raise flags on Facebook, be transparent about your offer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I've got an even better bonus for you. If you want to know how to leverage the power of Facebook even further, I've got my Facebook account optimization video tutorial. I'm going to play a preview in just a second. Click the tab on this video and it's going to take you to where you've got instant access to that full video. Plus you're going to get another three videos from our best-selling Social Media 360 home study course and it's not going to cost you anything. In these additional three bonus videos, I'll reveal how to leverage the power of Facebook ads for more traffic and leads, how to monetize your Facebook marketing efforts and the common mistakes to avoid on Facebook to experience results much faster than anyone else. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Click on the thumbs up. It really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll see our newest videos. See you soon. And welcome to this video titled how to create and optimize a Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page yet or would like to create a new one, then just follow this tutorial. So first log into your Facebook profile because you need to have a profile in order to create a Facebook page. Then click on the drop down menu on the top right hand side and go to create page. Then choose what it is that you want to promote on that Facebook page. What kind of business is it? Is it a local business? So if you have a local business that you want to promote on your Facebook page, pick this category because the template is different. Is it a company, organization or institution? Is it a brand or a product? Are you a public figure? You might be a speaker, a coach, you might be a singer. Then pick this one. Entertainment. That's if you are in the entertainment industry or is it a cause or a community? So is it a charity, for example, then you would pick that one. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just go and choose brand or product. That's the most generic one. And then choose the category. So is it an app that you're promoting? baby goods so I will just go and click on website let's pretend this is an online business I'm promoting so I'll put website and then put your brand name or your product name so I'll just put test and then click on get started then add a profile picture. Now, if you are the face of the brand, then you would put a headshot of you. Make sure that the headshot of you is a close-up. It's not a cropped picture. Make sure that it's not pixelated. It's a nice picture of you smiling with no messy or busy background. So you really want to look professional. When you upload a picture, make sure that it's 170 times 170 pixels. If the picture you upload doesn't fit well enough, then you can go to picresize.com and resize your pictures.